Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lastly here. Welcome today to a 91 rated team of the season Jamie Vardy player review. So the Englishman who plays for the BPL champions Leicester has received this 91 rated TOTS item for playing amazingly this season. He's now got 96 pace, 88 dribbling, 91 shooting and 89 physical. Superb stats for a striker for sure. He's 5 foot 10 with high high work rates, right footed of course, only the 3 star skills and weak foot though. So obviously our our first option for a team today is a full BPL team. It features players such as uh, Gary Cahill, Otamendi Courtois, Yaya Torre, Santi Cazorla and then four TOTS players. However, I use Vardy as an out and out striker in this 4-3-2-1 hybrid. This squad features the likes of Jerome Boateng, Alaba, team of the season Schmelzer and once again Arnautovic and Mares. A really solid team. Okay, so it's in game stats time. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, click that first link in the description. It's going to take you to Jamie Vardy's page on the the site where you can see his amazing in-game stats. If I was to choose three stats which stand out for me, I'm going to go for 91 attack positioning, 97 sprint speed and 94 finishing. Now this leads me on to the pros and cons. We'll get the negatives out of the way first. I really enjoyed Vardy, um, however it was very noticeable that he was only a three star skills, three star weak foot kind of player. Sometimes if I have a high performing player, I don't notice the fact that he's only got three star skills and weak foot, but I did with Vardy which is a bit odd because I did really enjoy it. Having even a one star increase in either of those categories would definitely make him a better player. However, there are lots of positives to talk about this guy. As I mentioned earlier, his positioning is pretty awesome. He's 91 in game. Although sometimes he wasn't in the right spot at the right time, most of the time he was and he plays off that last shoulder of the defender incredibly well. Jamie Vardy is also possibly the quickest player I've felt on FIFA 16. His dribbling is not too shabby either. I mean, 85 ball control is above average and then the 90 dribbling is just great too. So, so far we've got a player who makes good runs off the last shoulder of the defender um, with insane speed and when he gets the ball he's very good on it. So it only needs one more thing to make him a great striker and that is the ability to put the ball in the back of the net. So the question is, can Jamie Vardy's tots do that? And uh, the answer is well, of course, yes he can. 88 long shots, 92 shot power, 94 finishing. These stats tell you everything you need to know about Jamie Vardy's shooting ability. Vardy is a great combination of that player that can score the long shots as well as the poacher in the middle of the six yard box. And overall I really did enjoy using this player. A significant boost to any of the Vardy's I've used so far on FIFA 16. Pick him up now on the market or of course in the foot draft game mode and make sure you let me know how you get on. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and we'll catch you next time. Peace.